I've said a lot of years, hey man, why can't I, why can't I get a Mustang? I remember that car, oh God, since uh, mid 70s. Was this a real barn back in the day? No, this is built, I think early 80s. So it's a pretty standard pole barn from around here. It's unlocked, ready to go. I've got the lights, lights on right now. Many beautiful barns on our way to Ithaca, Michigan, heartlands of America. Okay, so no chickens or <laughs> or corn, hay or livestock. And for 40 years, whatever went in the barn stayed in the barn. How long has that car been in there? And well, that's the mystery right now because the last registration was 1979. A great American barn find with a storybook start, a storybook middle, and a storybook ending. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even sleep right now. I'm, I'm ready for tomorrow to pull this, this thing out of the barn. <laughs> so your son's really excited to get it. Oh yeah, yeah. And that was, the, that was the kind of the secret I was gonna tell you. Ever since he was six months old, he's been going to swap meets. It makes this really special because... And I'd sell old car parts, and his mom would sit there and sell parts too, and he'd be in a bassinet. <laughs> yeah, but I've been around this stuff all my life. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in his blood. I'm very glad that Jill got the car. I think she wants to know to make sure this is going the right direction, that I'm not just going to turn around and sell this, and I'm not. I grew quite a friendship with him ever since Phil died because he would come out and talk about the car and how much he was interested. And I have kids, and we're going to enjoy this just like I was when I was a kid. And I had to let Joe have fun with it and his kids for the next while. I have a piece of paper from 1976 where they did an inspection on it and it shows 49,000 original miles on it. And those miles are still the same. And this, this guy was not known to drive his car a lot. But back here is where we're actually gonna take the wall apart. I've taken all the nails in this area right here off and I replaced them with screws. So tomorrow morning, we'll just unscrew every one of these up to about that seam, pull these sheets off, place it off the side get the boards, take them off the boards, and we'll back the trailer right here, and we're just gonna winch that thing, because that car sits right here on the other side of this wall. How come you can't get it out another way? I mean, why do you? Well, it's got about eight tractors, vehicles. Um, the, uh, I think there's a fifth wheel in there, and there's some other just tools and lots of stuff in there. Pam. You know, I've done, I've done barn finds for years, but I never took a barn apart to get the one. <laughs> <laughs> It'd take a whole army of people to get everything out. Multiple trucks pulling things out, tractors to pull tractors, and everything's got a flat tire on it, so. And went through such an obstacle course. Oh, <laughs> it really makes it cool. <laughs> and when I was a kid, I used to ride around in a Shelby in a Mach 1, and a bunch of Fords and go to Ford shows and I want to do the same thing and this is this is my dream car this is a 69 or 70 Mach 1 and Cobra Jet's icing on the cake. We'd be taking the car out tomorrow but I couldn't wait I had to see the car. As you can see a lot of stuff in here. The pathway is this is we have to climb underneath that tractor bucket right there or step over it. For me it's easier to go underneath. I mean it's up to you what you want to do. But that's the only way back there and that car is in that far corner back there. Actually there is a little bit of a you can step over this, step over that, but for me I just I go right underneath. <laughs> okay. step so just have to step over this lawnmower then we're actually kind of free and clear on the pathway here oh here's another car yeah yeah that's hers actually that was hers in college 
40 XP. I kind of, kind of see why. I mean, there's no possible way that car would come out unless we move all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's on concrete. Sometimes it's good and bad thing, but there she is. Oops. Still got the original Goodyear's. Yep. We can kind of see it. But that's the wall that we're going to be going out. Is as soon as we're going to put some air in those tires and see what they roll. Oh, like, you're going out that wall. Yeah, we'll go right out that wall. I've jacked this car up and put air in the tires, so they've take they've taken air, but they're obviously flat again. The car was coming out in the light the next day, but there's nothing like this time when you come upon a car like this that's been sitting 40 years. Here, bounce your light off the camper. Okay. My feeling is show it some respect. Take what pictures you can before it's touched. Uh, enjoy the moment. Is this original paint? As far as we know, 99% of it is original. Joe has taken the time to let us show up so that we can vicariously enjoy the thrill of a real barn find and to make a video record of it. To him, this is better than finding the Titanic without the necessity of deep sea diving gear. I have the Marty report on it. It's sitting right against that board, that bumper. So water dripped in from up here in the ceiling? Yeah, we had, we had water dripping. And so she actually replaced the roof, but I don't see any rust on the hood. Now there's a little bit of rust. There's a, there's a little bit right here, and there's a pinhole on the fender over there. And my dad has always told me, he says, he remembers that pinhole over there. Right there? Yep, yep. This is Clipsal Coral? Yeah. What's this on it? I don't know, some, some poster or something. That... So you bought it without even... No, I've... You mean if I before I seen it? Yeah. No, I've seen it a few times, many times actually. And so can we maybe see inside, maybe yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, red seats. Yeah, vermilion red. That's pretty rare, I think, red seats. Now how rare is the Marty Report say this car is? Um, I have it, I can show you. It, there's no like one of one or one of ten on this. Now that's a four-speed car. Yeah, yeah. Drop my flashlight. Again. Yeah, we'll see it better tomorrow. Yeah. This oh is yeah. Actually, I thought about this last night. Oh yeah, I can. When they open the oven, go around. around. All right, I will. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll get the. You know, you this will be the first one that comes down. <laughs> I love it. Oops, they were about to break through. I need to get around inside that barn. Yikes, it's starting to sprinkle. Yeah, of course. I hope they don't break through till I get there. I had to make up for lost time. Yeah, I, I made it time. You see a tail light. There they are. We're going to power wash all that dust off today. Our Michigan barn find time capsule. I heard somebody out there say King Tut. There's the man of the hour right there. Of something. <laughs> I'm telling my wife. <laughs> she knows you're something. <laughs> something else. So, Joe. Yes, sir. Is this the first you've seen it with daylight? Uh, I think this car is. A, yes. I mean. And you got one more panel, huh? Pam, come here. She's seeing the light <laughs> for the first time in a while. When's the last time you saw it in the light? Oh wow, probably early '80s. Late 70s, wow. somewhere in there. Hey, uh, is that your LTD? It was his father's. He would always, it's kind of an interesting thing. He was an only child and his dad would always get to pick the model of the car. His mother would get to pick the color and he would get to pick the engine. 
ever since he was a little kid, so that's probably got a 460 in it. <laughs> the last time I saw it, I was 12 or 13. Really? Then I was at my parents' house, and I remember hearing something pull in the driveway. I looked out, and here was this beautiful bright red car, and Phil jumped out and came up on the porch, and Pam, uh, I remember her going down the driveway and they both got in and I could hear it. I was watching it, my mouth was wide open, my tongue was probably hanging out, I was 12 or 13 and just, it was beautiful. And then I heard it shift into second and just rumbling, you know, I mean, it was just a beautiful sound and uh, that's the last time I saw it, it was probably 79 or 1980, something like that. Hey, who's making all that racket out here? <laughs> Hammer guy. Well, maybe we're to find some rust. Hammer guy. <laughs> Joe just bought the car of his dreams from Pam. <laughs> Talking to Joe's dad. It's going to the right guy. Oh, I know. I know. I'm very happy about yeah. that. And yeah, he's a good guy. We, you know, did develop quite a friendship over the years. Yes. And he's in the area, so you'll get Exactly. Count. And... He's um, voiced his opinion that he wants me to be a part of his restoration, which he's got the car. It's up to him to do whatever he wants with it, but I just think it's very neat. Very neat. Yeah, we'll move oh. just a little bit oh. so I can get the Mach 1 in there. Okay, all right. All right, I'm going to get all three of you guys, actually. Hey, Jerry, you want to stick your head out there? Yeah. The uh, all right, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here, here, take, take oh, look great. at this. The unveiling. All right. <laughs> This is a real barn. <laughs> this is a barn. Don't tell me this is not a barn car. <laughs> How long has the car been here? Since yeah. late 70s, Maybe early 80s. Back. So she's ready to come back to life. I'm right. ready to let Joe have fun with it and his kids for the next while. So it's mm. kind of bittersweet without Phil. He always, I'm sure, thought that once he retired, we'd get this up and going. and and do the car show thing or drive it and just enjoy it but was it in the cards here's the keys before i forget oh thank you not that i want to be too invasive and act like <laughs> that's <property>. okay <laughs> i got a little big part though oh <laughs> it's old it's been sitting as long as i've been alive same car Hey, on these, on these shackles, can't you bolt something on here uh, to go underneath the spring to put pressure on it so it doesn't wheel hop so much? Is that what these are for? No, no, no. That's to raise it, raise it up because you can put bigger tires underneath it. Oh, uh, oh they're adjustable. Yeah, you're right. Ladder, right. Ladder that would connect underneath. I remember riding in it for one of the first times, and whenever he shifted, my head would flip back. It felt like I'd whip flash almost. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get on it a little bit. Just kind of cruised around town. One time we were coming out of Ithaca, we had ordered a pizza, and he got on it as he got to the hill here. And the cop said, when he pulled us over, he said, I'm sure glad you stopped, because I wouldn't have been able to catch you. And then he just kind of laughed and Phil offered him a piece of pizza. And he went on his way. You could, you could smell it. I don't know if it's a hose that's leaking or carburetor. We woke it up, so I mean, it's yeah. moving that dead, dead old right. fuel. So, we finally get a chance to see the interior of the car in the light. And man, this thing does not disappoint. Look at that headliner. I don't see a hole or rip in it. No signs of mice. No rips or tears in the rear seat. Those sport slats really look cool. And that vermilion color really pops inside this car, red on red. Now let's go look for that odometer. And, yep, what's that say? Uh, 49,953. Exactly why these pedals don't show much wear. Same for that dash pad, no cracks. Same for those comfort weave vinyl seats. And look at those door panels. All those Michigan winners in a barn. Wow. And this is a four-speed with the Hurst T-handle for 1970. Joe, what was the guy's name that bought this car new? We don't know. Dwayne Temple bought it in 72. 
He was the Vietnam vet, but he bought yep. it from a Ford dealership in Helma in 72. Oh, okay. I we're, we're, missing a, we're missing a link. We don't know where. Hey, Joe. This paint is original. Look how good those 428 it's gonna, emblems it's are. It's going to clean up pretty well. Yeah. He even got the shaker scoop for Ram Air. Got a little little rust spots here, but... What's, there, oh. what's not to love about it? Here's the little rust spot here that he's talking about. Weird, it's a little bit in that back corner, too. Yeah, that one in the corner there. Came from the factory with the optional rear wing spoiler and sport slats. The extruded aluminum rocker panel moldings are unique to the 1970 Mach 1. These are the stock hubcaps designed to look like custom wheels. We're about to go knock the dust off this body. See what we got. I was doing fine until it came out. And it was kind of like losing a piece of him. <laughs> but I'm glad it's going to Joe. It's got to remind you of your husband. Yeah. He's going to be here. That's right. That's the cool part. I'll get to see in car shows and yeah, it's time for it to come back to life. These are stock hood lock buttons. That one I can get. There. Just got to know the combination. Yeah. I guess. Don't break it. I just had to take a walk and compose myself. I didn't want teary eyes. <laughs> but oh well, it's part of life. It's not that I had that close of a connection with the car, but it was just always a part of him. And everybody to this day, whenever they seen me in town, they'd say, you still got that car? <laughs> but anyways, this is a good thing. You get the story told, you get the heritage. Yes. It's like you always own the car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gap. I mean, just a yeah. smooth and boom, bump up. Guys, but would, that stock don't yeah. change. Yeah. No, I know, I know. Guys you, would be like, "Oh, I can't hey, go to a car show that You way. don't change stock. You don't. In other words, this is perfection. This per Ford it, perfection. Yeah. And let me tell you about paint. Now, yeah, you paint. perfection is orange peel. Yeah. Perfection is original baked on Ford acrylic it, enamel. Yeah. Pam, we're, we're gonna. Hey, I'm gonna oversee to make sure that he keeps this thing. I think he's there, though. He's one of us. Okay. okay. I think Pam felt she'd made a good decision and the car had gone to the right person, however difficult the sale was. Pam, we haven't even looked at the engine. Yeah, I think I Joe better open the hood on his yeah. car. <laughs> I'm not sure how it all works. <laughs> we got to look at the engine. <laughs> Pardon me? Maybe, maybe there's no engine in there. Uh, <laughs> I hope there is. <laughs> that shaker assembly for Ram Air is real. <laughs> the smog system's gone, but that's typical. Yeah, you can take it that way. That's all right. mm. Let's check out the carburetor. See if it's the original. Joel snaps a picture of the Ford part number on the carburetor. Does that mean anything to you? That all them numbers and symbols? Yeah, that's original carburetor. D O Z F. 9510 Apple Apple. And that applies to a Cobra Jet with manual transmission and no air conditioning. Exactly what we have. What about that intake? That's your cast iron stock, right? Yeah. yeah. You, you got those stock Cobra Jet valve covers here too, the fin on yeah. those Cobra yeah. Jet? Same finned valve covers and blue painted cast iron intake on this unrestored Cobra Jet. Yeah, yeah. see, those are the later ones. The earlier ones had the snake cast right into it like this joel knows his mustang and shelby parts and now for the fun part power washing away 40 years of dirt we're going to wrap this up and we're going to head over to dean's house so first we'll clean off all that dirt that's the one thing i can't wait to do is actually can't wait to clean it at dean's shop i rode in that car years and years and years ago would have been the guy that owned it before phil had it yeah i'm gonna get dirty and nasty but i can't wait to clean that thing I'm, I'm antsy, and, but I also have to tell myself that I gotta be patient too, because if I get antsy and I push myself, I don't wanna push myself and do something to the car that's wrong, you know, over polish it or something like that. It's just been on there so much, it just needs to be loosened up, get all the cobwebs and stuff off it, then I'm gonna foam it and just let it sit. 
Okay. And this is the power washer right here? Yes, sir. Because... And this is the dog? What kind of dog? This is a Labrador Retriever. Buck! And then rinse it off, foam it, and then wipe it down with a, a microfiber cloth. How does this work? Quick disconnect like that. And then I'll have the foam bottle down here. Should shoot out a whole bunch of foam. We'll find out. You got hot water now? I did. Yes, I do. But I'm not going to get close to it. Just enough to so it'll push the dirt and push the cobwebs and everything else. It's Christmas time. <laughs> just let it soak for a little while, and then it'll just kind of rinse it. So it's not coming off, huh? Yeah. Well, it's coming off. I just, I don't want to get the pressure washer too close. If I put the pressure washer up to it, that dirt, that dirt will move. I mean, it's, it'll move. I can just move it with my finger. So um, I'd rather get a lower pressure hose and just hit it, let it come I'm off. I'm afraid it might damage the paint. Yeah. Doesn't look like your paint faded any. No, oh, it's going to clean up really well. I think once I get that dirt off there, this side, it's still got a nice shine to it. Decades of dirt and grime. Now this is a lot, lot less pressure on it. I'll do that over there. Fall backwards, but I'm going to spray this thing. Oh, it's, it's got some greasiness to it. Like there's like some grease residue all over it. See, that is actually, I think it's very minor damage to the paint. Can't tell. No, no, it's just stuff on it. This is oily? Yeah, yeah, it's just oily. Take a microfiber. What about that? It looks like it's stained. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I think, yeah, it'll definitely come off. But I thought that was it's just like I said. It's gonna. I'm gonna have to put some foam on it and hand wash with a clean microfiber towel. Like speckles. I put a little pressure into it. It comes off. So now, is there a registration tag on these? Well. Last time this was registered was 79. What you guys want to do on a Saturday is watch me wash the vehicle. <laughs> I mean, I can polish with my finger. That thing's gonna polish up really good. Like one, it's just gonna take some time cleaning this up, up in there. seen dry ice cleaning and do the proper pulling the spark plugs putting stuff in the cylinders before we even try to attempt to turn it how awful it is to change those spark plugs taste it <laughs> no thanks is yeah, it full? full yeah it's full <laughs> it's there. Yeah. power steering pumps dry you don't have your original radiator cap no no, this is a high performance one. It says it right on here, 10 horsepower if you use this lever. Fine. Oops, there's a hole in your hood. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it lighter. Yeah.
Yeah. How's that switch? Well, For sitting as long as it had. Uh, why don't you get in there, Joe, and steer? Oh my God, she's tight. Because I think the worst part of it is the underside, but that's the unknown. Hey, but why didn't you help him push? Buck Tally, you're just the supervisor. I don't think there's holes in the floorboard. There's going to be a little yeah. flaky. You see any areas that's rotted through? No, I don't. I'd say it's pretty solid. For Especially for a Michigan car. Look over here. What's this? That'll that'll come off, won't it? Oh yeah. It's <laughs> over here. Forty years. There's a crud. There's going to be a little flaking. There's, there's a lot of grease underneath it, which is good. Yeah. I got to figure out the plan of how to just kind of clean this up underneath. You know, to just. Preserve it. I know they can. There's, there's some companies out there that dry ice these things. You know, obviously the brake needs new brake lines. This is not. This brake line is not as bad as what I thought. So you know, take more. off these. Uh, I think so. Lines. Yeah, I think I'd take those off. And I'd, I'd like to get exhaust back to, to this point again. You know, I'd like to have stock style exhaust. Yeah. This is the only thing I might, I might, I might paint. It's, yeah, it's this balance down here. What are you doing, MJ? I'm uh, cleaning this area. The honeycomb area? Yeah. Whenever I saw Phil, I said, hey. When are you going to be home? I want to come up and look at that. 70. Just come on out. <laughs>